We're going to do a song now that comes from a, a musical show. It's just the sort of thing you would expect to see and hear, except that they're not a Christmas, it's not a pantomime. <laughs> well, not strictly speaking, anyway. It's, uh, it's something that we've been working on. We just heard the day it's going to open up at the end of the year. So we're really here kicking cats out of here any day now. <laughs> You'll be able to see it. It's the, it's the sorry tale of a no good, double talking, womanizing, pill popping, foul mouthed. Did I say womanizing? Did I say pill popping? Alcoholic, double crossing, swindling, no good son of a gun. So naturally a good Catholic boy like me could never possibly play a role like that, so you're all gonna use your imagination. But this guy now is, we're talking about back in the 1950s, he get discovered in jail, which is where all the best people get discovered. And uh, then he makes his way up and he becomes the voice of the people on local radio and they say he's just the man to take the message to the housewives, sell them pet pills. Because this is back in the 1950s before we all stopped taking drugs. <laughs> and then he gets a little bit more power crazy and they say, well, he's just the man to take the message of the senator to the people. And then he starts to get the idea maybe he should run for office. And you know how that ends, you know, he gets good ratings. <laughs> And this is the song that he sings to the crowd. The name of the show is The Face of the Crowd. And you might say it's about this character I'm about to sing this song from. But uh, really, strictly speaking, it's about the dark things that you all wish for. I know you do. Particularly you up in the balcony. I don't know what you're after. <laughs> you didn't deny it, did you? When you're dead, you can feel Oh, 